Hey guys, Triforce of Doom here, and welcome to the first video of Ruby Month. Much like in my first solo countdown, my first countdown on Ruby is going to be on music. Specifically, the vocal songs composed by Jeff Williams. I love every single song in the show, and Jeff's instrumentation and the vocals of his daughter, Casey Lee Williams, are a big reason why. Also, this applies to the month in general, but I will be talking about spoilers. With that said, let's get this started. Red, this is happening! Wait, what is happening? First up on the list, we have the theme song of everyone's favorite cat faunus, Blake Belladonna. From Shadows is sung from the perspective of Blake and her partner Adam before she ditched the White Fang, and the lyrics definitely show how the fondness prejudice affected the two of them. The techno-like intro and dual vocals definitely add to it as well. It makes the confrontation with Adam in Volume 3 all the more tense. And now I want an energy drink. For a team named Coffee, it's only fitting for the theme song to be named after the kick we all get in the morning. It's also fittingly fast-paced, and I love it! Also, the alternating between Casey Lee and Lamar Hall with the verses is pretty cool. I know that not everyone likes this song, but I couldn't help but love it after the first listen. No, I'm not crying. Why would you think that? I've been watching you lately, chasing your tail, and it drives me crazy. You'll never get that girl. Okay, I'm not usually much of a shipper, but Arcos was one I was definitely rooting for. Both Dream Come True and Shine are instant feel buttons now, but Dream Come True ends out with how much more low key it is. Having a song practically punch me emotionally is always a good way to make me love it. Also on the topic of ships, this one is a lot more upbeat. Never knew a time when you weren't by my side. The one thing I could always count on. Yes, the name of the song is Boop, which fits perfectly with Nora's personality. This song is about how Nora has a crush on her childhood friend Ren, and the only way she's able to say her feelings for him is by saying Boop. One thing I love about this song is how it starts off at a nice slow medium speed, then picks up an energy much like Nora herself. It's just a really fun song to listen to that also shows just what Nora and Ren's relationship is like. You know, before ordering this list, I didn't think only one of the volume themes would get on here. Well, there's nothing like your first time. This song is just so epic, with the initial guitar lead-in to the awesome lyrics to a really epic bridge. I just love the song. It's gone to the point where I've memorized a good chunk of the lyrics, if not all of them. Of course, we're only at the halfway point. How do you condense inspiration and emotion into just one song? Fall has a great emotional surge through it by basically saying, yeah, the world may eventually go to crap and we'll all lose hope, but that day is not today. While originally being a song in the credits, Team at Rooster Teeth put the song to great use during one of the final fight scenes of Volume 3. 
I also like how the song alternates between soft and loud, even cutting off the instruments for a few seconds. It really drives the feeling home. For the number 4 spot, well, you know what they say, Yellow Beauty Burns Gold. Being my favorite of the Team Ruby themes, Iburn is basically Yang saying how awesome she is. The things I love about this song are the epic guitar line that gets stuck in my head almost every day, the catchy rap verse, and the really fun lyrics. I also like how they basically spell out Yang's semblance with the Super Saiyan line. Nice touch! <sighs> With all these hero based songs, I think it's time for a nice burning villain song. Oh fuck the hell yes. At number 3, we have the theme of Cinder Fall, Sacrifice. With a nice sinister opening leading into the tense chorus and slick guitar, it really shows how cunning Cinder is as a villain. The lyrics themselves even hint at her backstory might be a little more complex than we thought with lines like falls from grace are never elegant. The part where the instruments cut out always sends chills down my spine as well. Of course, Cinder isn't the only one running the show. And now for the real villain's theme. Divide, a song sung from the perspective of Salem, who we only see at the very end of Volume 3, is quite the track. The guitar and drums show how tense the situation is, while the verses are basically Salem breaking down Ozpin's points one by one, and then finishing up with how she will win. This is by far one of the darkest songs Jeff has made, and I absolutely love it for it. Can't wait to see how Salem's plot develops in Volume 4. And at number one, we have Red Like Roses. The other Red Like Roses. I couldn't take it, couldn't stand another minute. I couldn't bear another day without you in it. All of the joy that I had known for all my life was stripped away from me the minute that you died. If there's any song that tells you there's more to the characters than their base personality, this one is it. Red Like Roses Part 2 basically tells the story of how Ruby misses her mom and is doing her best to finish her mom's fight. However, verse 2 shows her mom's side. This is what made me love the song so much. I am a sucker for dual perspective songs. The counterpoint brought by Casey Lee Williams as Ruby and Sandy Casey as her mom is gorgeous and the guitar is amazing as well. The version I'm critiquing, by the way, is the album version. The version that plays in episode 8 only plays the first verse and the chorus, with a long instrumental build before it, and I prefer the album version. Overall, Red Light Ghost's Part 2 is my favorite song in Ruby, and I'm really looking forward to what Volume 4 brings in October. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of Ruby Month. Next week, we're looking at weapons. This has been the Triforce of Doom. Peace out.